Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dime a Dozen, and I'm here with Crazy, and we are going to do a Let's Play on Borderlands. Great game, love it. So, uh, what's your take on Borderlands? Do you like it? Uh, yeah, it's a very great game. Uh, I've played through three times total, um, so I've had a lot of experience with it. I know, like, all the beginning quests, you know, like forward, backwards. It's just so fun. Has a lot of replay value. Loot is always different every time. Has a nice, unique feel to it. Uh, I like the black out black outline. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, like comic books. You know. Um, what about you? What is your experience with the game? Like? Well, my experience is I played through on my second playthrough with my soldier, great character, and I'm on my first playthrough with my level 30 hunter. So I, but he's not very good. So I'm kind of new to this game, but I do like the comic book style. It gives it a unique feel to the game. I like the first-person shoot shooter, uh, just like the way it is. It's just great. And the storyline of the game is probably my favorite thing about it. But then there's some things that I don't like about the game, like the jumping. So. Yeah. The jumping really reminded me of uh, Halo. As you guys can see here in a second, when uh, this starts up, down it does not he does a jump. And you can see how you just like gravitate up and down. It really reminds me of Halo. And I really don't like the Halo-style jumping. But uh, still... Uh, it's just something really small about the game that I really don't like. Yeah, I can't really nitpick all the little things when the big things are just even better. Yeah. But what's your take on the DLCs? Do you like them? Uh, the DLCs are so fun. Um, Dr. Ned, that has to be my favorite because I'm a zombie fanatic. Like, I cannot get enough. Um, the, the bosses and characters within all the DLCs are just so creative. And there's no real repetitive feel to uh, all the mo uh, the characters and the bosses and stuff, so that's really good. But uh, General Knox and Dr. Ned, those are the best DLCs. Mad Moxie, I just really did not like that at all because it's just a grind fest and so repetitive. Uh, what about right. you? What are your takes on the DLCs? Well, I am actually only have uh, one install, which is Dr. Ned, which I have played through. But the other ones, I, they will be installed for the for this whole playthrough, so we will you will be seeing it. But when I was playing, what's it called, Dr. Ned, I loved it. I loved how it was... Uh, Zombies, which is one of my favorite things about video games. I liked uh, the bosses of it, and I liked the loot that you got. I liked the last boss. I liked that it reminded me of Left 4 Dead 1 in the good old days, and Left 4 Dead 2, too. What about you? Do you like uh, Dr. Ned? Yeah, uh, like I said, Dr. Ned has to be my favorite because I'm a zombie fanatic. Um, right. So, yeah. Uh, what is your take on uh, the new DLC that just came out, uh, Claptrap's Robot Revolution? Yeah, it looks amazing, actually. I just finished installing it, so we should be doing a Let's Play on that. And it just looks great. It looks, it's like, picks up basically where you let, where it left off when he got basically the robot claptrap guy laser in space. And I was all, like, when it ended, and then the credits rolled right after that, I was like, what? There's no way that that just happened. I thought my game crashed almost for a second because it was just such a cliffhanger. But it turns out that it was actually just the credits. But I think it's great that they're actually just making a new DLC instead of making you pay another fifty bucks for the new game, right? So, yeah, I would, I would probably end up buying Borderlands Two if they made one, but uh, I really enjoy how they're making it into a DLC. Um, so, if you guys don't know like what happens to the DLC, it's pretty much at the end of the game, uh, Claptrap right here that you meet that guides you through the town. Um, he gets turned into an interplanetary ninja assassin, <laughs> which uh, is pretty funny. Um, but uh, he's supposed to uh, kill you, but he sees how his like fellow robots are getting treated and stuff. How the bandits are just using the clap traps as target practice and stuff. Um, like throughout this game, you'll see uh, some clap traps are laying on the ground, which we fix up, and uh, they actually give you an expansion to your backpack space, uh, but... or they lead you to a weapons chest. Yes, which is very helpful. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> he uh, he sees how his fellow robots are getting treated, so he starts a. Uh, a revolt, which turns into a revolution, and uh, so Hyperion hires you to uh, destroy all the robots. So it should be so fun just going around murdering innocent little robots. Well, not all that innocent. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess they're not really but... all that innocent anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just start a revolt, so they're innocent, you know, they're being treated harshly in the revolt. Um, can't have anything against that, but money's money, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, what are, uh, what's your take on some of the new games that have came out? You know, like, uh, Dead Rising 2 just came out last week, uh, StarCraft 2, that's been out for a while, you know, what are your thoughts on some of the new games that have been coming out? 
Well, I like a lot of the new games that are about to come out and a lot of the games that have came out because I liked the games that came before them. Like for Dead Rising 2, it was Dead Rising 1, and I was a fan of that. And then for uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, I liked Call of Duty 4, and Modern Warfare 2 was pretty good too, I guess. So I really liked uh, a lot of the new games that just came out, and I liked, and I'm going to like the games that are coming out like now. What's your take on Dead Rising 2? Uh, I haven't played too much of Dead Rising 2. I'm still trying to get that for my 360 because uh, my computer, my graphics card, just doesn't want to play it. So, whatever. <laughs> um, StarCraft <laughs> 2 has been really fun. Uh, I'm not all that much of like a melee player. If you guys play real-time strategies, you know what I'm talking about. I like the custom games. And it really reminds me of Warcraft 3 custom maps. Uh, just how there's so much you can do with all the triggers and stuff. Um, right. That, uh, one of the games I can't wait for come out, uh, which is coming out next week on I think seventeenth, is uh, Fallout New Vegas. That is just yeah. going to be so fun. Can't wait for that to come out. Hopefully they have DLCs like they do with the first one. You know, so yeah, definitely buying that. Yeah, and then uh, Black Ops, the... that should be so fun. Pardon me. Yeah, while we're on the topic of Bethesda, what was your take on Oblivion? <laughs> Uh, I don't, I haven't played too much of Oblivion. I got like twenty minutes into it, and then uh, I was watching like some end game scenes and stuff. And I saw that I haven't watched. I mean, I haven't played through like any of the game. I haven't like scratched the surface on it at all. So right. uh, I just didn't have the time to play through it. So I kind of skipped over that. But still, is a great game. Remind, uh, Fallout Three reminded me of it because Oblivion is pretty much the first Fallout Three, but medieval times. Yep. So it was. Just, really fun game for the time, short time that I played it. If I played through all the time, uh, the entire game, then I would probably most likely love it. Yeah, definitely. I have been playing it for about, oh, I don't even know, like, however long it's came out. I've been playing it for probably, like, two, three years, and I just love the game. I haven't beaten it because I haven't been, like, a hardcore player of it, but I've just been playing, like, the campaign, and I got a couple, like, probably even a couple days of game time on it, and it's just one of my favorite RPGs out there. I just love it. How about you? Uh, other games. Yeah, uh, Bethesda, they make some really great games. Fallout 3 uh, is actually one of my favorite games of all time. just has a lot of replay value, and the DLC for it is just so creative. I mean, Aliens, <laughs> I mean, that, yeah. that was pretty awesome. Uh, so, yeah, what about you? What are some of your favorite games of all time? Um, for the old school games, I'd say Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, which is also another Zelda game. For the games that are, like, around the mid-times, I like uh, Oblivion, Counter-Strike Source. And then for the newer games, it's, like, Dead Rising 2, Modern Warfare 2, um, Borderlands, if that kind of counts, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, but, yeah, I really like it. Yeah, um, so, I see you're playing a hunter. Um, so, why, why are you playing a hunter? Like, what are your thoughts on just the hunter Well, class. my first character, when I was just messing around with the game, I actually made a hunter first, and I actually really liked uh, just... I like how overpowered he was. I didn't like it at the same time, but, but at the same time, it was still fun to, like, be just destroying at this game. But I didn't play a soldier for sure because I was already on my second playthrough with that, and it would kind of just get repetitive over and over again. Why do you play a soldier? Uh, soldier is just great for team play. A Scorpio turret can regen ammo and all that stuff. And just so fun to shooting people with a combat rifle. Um, but yes, the yeah. Hunter is the most overpowered, I would say, out of all of them. But, yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll have to get into his uh, perks and Bloodwing when we come back, because we're running out of time. Yeah, uh, so we will see you guys uh, on, the next ep- on the next episode of the playthrough. So uh, this has been crazy. See you guys. This is Dime a Dozen. See you guys later. All right.